flying low over people's homes, scanning the ground with that green laser. It's just so weird because it should be moving. I'm too scared. Uh, there is no one standing there. But there. Do you have a good camera? Not really. Look at this. My camera sucks. Oh, baby, wake up! What the fuck? What the fuck, baby? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, my God. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today's episode will be showcasing some of the most chilling and mind-blowing clips and footage the internet has to offer. You wouldn't want to miss even a second of this. Let's get started. Cause it's a plane flying low over people's homes, scanning the ground with that green laser. In recent times, a series of peculiar events have left communities puzzled and with more questions than answered. One such mysterious incident unfolded in Cape Corral, Florida, where residents were both bewildered and alarmed by a strange craft hovering across their skies. The most disturbing part of this is the vibrant green laser beam that emanates from the craft sweeping across the earth below like a scanner. This went on for days until the locals had enough and contacted authorities for answers, but their replies were unclear and they provided little information about the strange flying object's origin or purpose. This has led to various guesses and ideas about what it could be. Some suggest that the flying object could be on a mission to map the landscape, trying to study and learn about the terrain below. On the other hand, different theories propose a mysterious purpose, perhaps one with an origin that lies in the secret service of the government. It's a stretch, but how else do we explain this? Anyway, share your thoughts on what you think this could be. They told me not only do their planes fly during the day, they also don't use green lasers. A Facebook user recently shared a mesmerizing video featuring two intrepid divers exploring the ocean's hidden wonders. It was meant to be an ordinary clip, until it wasn't. In the background, two massive creatures with an uncanny resemblance to extinct dinosaurs glide by. Naturally, all who saw this were confused and didn't know what to make of it. I showed the clip to Julius and, well, he thinks given their long necks and all, they might be plesiosaurs. Now, this isn't my forte, but plesiosaurs were a type of marine reptile that existed approximately 252 to 66 million years ago and are mostly sometimes referred to as the Loch Ness Monster. Although they lived alongside dinosaurs, plesiosaurs were not exactly dinosaurs, and they had a distinct ecological role in marine environments. Along with various other marine reptiles, plesiosaurs became extinct around 66 million years ago. So it's quite a shock to spot a creature that looks so much like one. So could these really be plesiosaurs, or are we actually mistaking the Loch Ness Monster for one? In this mystifying video, a diligent worker is carefully placing boxes on a shelf when, without warning, the boxes decide to defy gravity and tumble off the shelves on their own. This is bizarre and quite frankly, a bit upsetting, yet this is just the beginning of a series of strange events. As the worker tries to make sense of the situation, something else happens. An unseen force pushes down some more boxes and takes control of his body and then drags him around as though he were a piece of paper. He told his managers who didn't believe him until the CCTV footage was reviewed and this was seen. What do you think could be happening here? Are we dealing with a supernatural presence, a glitch in the fabric of reality, or perhaps a manifestation of undiscovered energies within the walls of the warehouse? Share your thoughts. The mystery deepens with our next clip. Take a look at this recent TikTok video showing a strange scene captured by a daughter's boyfriend during his morning commute. Oops. That's freaking weird, man. Isn't it? Yeah, look, there's someone else taking a picture. The video reveals a bird hanging in the sky, seemingly frozen in time. What makes it even more peculiar is not just the bird's lack of movement, but also its odd sideways position. 
While some might think that birds sometimes spread their wings to take a break mid-flight, this is definitely not how they rest mid-flight. The unusual stillness of the bird raises a lot of questions. How could a bird stay suspended in such a peculiar way, going against gravity and the usual dynamics of bird flight? There's no logical answer to this, which brings us to another question. Could it be a glitch in the matrix? I mean, what else explains a bird getting stuck mid-flight like it's paused in a video game or a movie? Think about it. I'm ready to drive. Yeah. What if it just dropped all of a sudden? Wouldn't that be freaky? Okay, well, let's go before it just drops on us. So weird. On a bright, sunlit day, an unsuspecting woman found herself being confronted by an eerie and mysterious sight. There on the wall of that building is the unmistakable silhouette of a person's shadow. Do you see it? That's definitely not your ordinary shadow. No, this one stands out, and there's no one around to cast it. We double-checked to see if it was painted, and no, it's not a painted mural or a trick of the light either. It's a genuine shadow that seems to have a life of its own. How is this plausible? Well, it's not. We believe there's got to be something supernatural going on here. Aaron thinks we may be dealing with a shadow person. For those unfamiliar with the term, a shadow person is a term used in folklore to refer to a dark, shadowy figure that looks like a person, just like we're seeing in the footage. There's, however, not been evidence of their existence until this clip. What do you think? Genuine or fabricated? In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, a captivating and mystifying scene unfolded as someone managed to capture a mesmerizing sight from a distance. Among the thick cluster of trees, a red orb appeared, rising gracefully as if emerging from the heart of the lush vegetation. This glowing spectacle resembled a fiery flame. But what could it be? There are indigenous beliefs and folklore that often speak of nature spirits and guardians dwelling in the depths of the jungle. Could this be one of them? Aaron seems to think so. Julius, being the more practical one, offers a different interpretation. He suggests that what we are seeing could be a flare from someone in a distressing situation, or perhaps the light of a drone at work. You've seen the clip. What do you also think? This mysterious clip has had the whole paranormal community talking. I mean, it's not often you see a creature like this moving across a river in the heart of the woods. What creature is it? Well, if you have been on this page long enough, then you definitely know I'm going to call that out to be a Bigfoot. I mean, the bipedal form and the fur are dead giveaways. The question is, where was this taken and was it alone? Next, let's dive into this spine-chilling clip. <laughs> this dog owner was enjoying some time with his canine pal until the dog started acting like this. It was growling whilst focusing intently on one corner of the room. As the dog trembled with unease, the owner, unable to perceive the supposed threat, grappled with the unsettling reality that their canine companion could have sensed something beyond our physical plane. He thinks the dog may have sensed a ghost, which, when you think about it, isn't too impossible. Animals are known to be quite sensitive to energies and entities beyond human detection, and this situation right here might just have proven that fact, unless you think there is a more logical explanation. Anyway, care to share your thoughts? In the eerie depths of an abandoned building, a daring explorer stumbled upon a rather unusual scene. Bueno, bueno, quédense tranquilos. In the backyard of this building were five wooden chairs meticulously arranged in a circle, facing each other. While this may look ordinary to some, something strange occurs in the middle of that circle of chairs. 
Dry leaves, seemingly guided by an unseen force, twirled in a haunting dance, forming a perfect circle. The unnatural choreography of these leaves raises a chilling question. Was the arrangement of these chairs a purposeful attempt to create a vortex, a mysterious portal, or a focal point for paranormal energy? The concept of a vortex, thought by some to be a swirling gateway between dimensions, could explain the eerie movement of the leaves at the center. Such occurrences are often linked to supernatural events and paranormal activity. Do you think there's something paranormal really happening here, or are we simply overthinking and blowing things out of proportion? Share your thoughts. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. In the expansive sky where the horizon meets the unknown, TikToker at Daniel Velez Wagner, a skilled glider pilot, recently experienced an extraordinary moment. While flying solo through the clouds, he captured a breathtaking scene that has amazed viewers. And if you guessed UFO, you are right. Wait, I put that in the title of the clip, so you have already seen it. Anyway, do you believe that's a UFO zooming past his glider at incredible speed? Everyone who's seen the clip thinks so, but some are not so convinced. They think the object just doesn't blend too well with the environment, meaning it has to be edited footage. Take a second look and tell me what you think, edited or the real deal. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Under the tranquil veil of night, another TikToker stumbled upon a sight that was both enchanting and enigmatic. Oh my dude, I wish I had a better camera. A beam of orange light pierced through the darkness, delicately kissing the earth below. But this was no celestial event or distant star. It was the captivating display of artillery illumination rounds. At least, that's what Julius would have us believe. On the parts that aren't, uh... Dude, that shit is f***ing tripping me out. These rounds, commonly employed in military operations, serve as a dual purpose, illuminating the night sky to enhance visibility and exposing the surrounding terrain. The orange glow, set against the inky backdrop of the night, created a surreal atmosphere, transforming the ordinary into something otherworldly and mesmerizing. I know this explanation doesn't convince you, but that's what skeptics like Julius are pushing. The believers in the paranormal like Aaron, however, believe we could be looking at a portal to another dimension or a rift of some sort. Instead of stating my stance on the subject, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? The phone doesn't even do it justice of what we're seeing. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, they're falling out of the sky. Look, that one's just sitting there. This guy is out taking a casual stroll through the woods, nothing out of the ordinary, but then he gets this distinct feeling like something's off, that creepy sense of being watched and not being alone. Get back. On instinct, he turns around to see what's going on. That's when he spots it, this bizarre black sphere just hovering in the air, traveling right behind him like some kind of sinister follower. It's giving me ooh, a evil red balloon from IT vibes, you know. Part intrigued but mostly freaked out, the guy quickly whips out his phone to record this weird phenomena. The sphere seems to have a mind of its own, drifting in this really unsettling, unnatural way. The whole atmosphere is tense and ominous. Without warning, the black sphere suddenly charges straight at the man, moving through the air at an inhuman speed, accompanied by this bizarre roaring sound. You can hear the guy's terrified yell just before the footage abruptly cuts out, leaving you to wonder what the hell just happened. What do you think this mysterious black sphere could be? More importantly, how would you react if you came face to sphere with something that sinister and bizarre looking on a casual wood stroll? Julius thinks it might be CGI generated because the leaves don't move when it touches them, but well, what do you think?
A homeowner sets up some security cameras around her house, you know, just for peace of mind, pretty standard stuff. But then she's reviewing the footage and catches something seriously bizarre. There's this thing sprinting across a driveway by her car. It's only about three feet tall, but has these freaky skinny legs, and its head is totally out of proportion, like a big bulbous thing on a little body. The midsection was harder to make out, just looked kind of dark and shadowy. She slows down the footage to get a better look, and that's when it gets even weirder. This creature, whatever it is, has a body structure that's almost bird-like. Thin legs, seemingly lightweight frame, but the way it's moving is unmistakably human-like. Confident, purposeful strides. It's like, oh, beats me, I'm some sort of human-bird hybrid. Such things aren't supposed to exist, are there? So what could we be looking at then? A real-life genetic experiment gone haywire? Some bizarre, undiscovered species that blends human and bird traits? It's hard to say at this point, but what are your thoughts on this? Next, take a look at this footage that was taken from a farmer's trail camera. On a peaceful night at the farm, a single cow stands, appearing captivated by something. As you watch the video, you see the cow's head tracking an unseen presence. Suddenly, a ghostly figure moves by the cow and then vanishes into the night. A closer look at the footage, and you realize that this ghostly figure looks like a man on a horse. But how? How is that even possible? Aaron thinks it might be the ghost of a rider who may have passed on with his horse in that area. Something like your distressed ghost that can't find peace and is condemned to roam the earth until it does. Julius, however, thinks that's false. He thinks it could just be a man on a horse that's out of focus on a night cam capture. To be fair, cameras struggle at night when it comes to low-light conditions and videos, but what are your thoughts on this? A ghost or the result of a not-so-focused camera capturing an individual on a horse? Please do share your thoughts. A group of kids, curious and courageous, rush into a farmland drawn by mysterious noises echoing from within. Just as they approach, the source of the commotion takes off at warp speed straight into the clouds. And what do they discover? A flattened maize field and a UFO zipping across the sky. UFO sights have become so common these days, it feels like any moment from now we'll see aliens knocking at our front doors to ask for a glass of water. As much as I love alien clips and want to believe this is real and authentic, it just feels very unreal. It looks like one of those amateur student films, which makes me believe someone created this looking for their five minutes of fame. Given we featured this clip on the channel, it's safe to say they've achieved their aim. Nature has a way of surprising us, turning the everyday into something extraordinary. Someone found this insect on a wall. From afar, it might look like your everyday large, winged and flying insect. But a closer look at it, and you'll realize something's off about this insect. It looks like it's got a man's face. If you're familiar with the Conjuring universe, you know that this looks like Valak, but it's just a moth, so how? Is this a case of pareidolia because I was watching the Conjuring universe recently, or is there some merit to my claim? Guys, what do you think? Next, we have a clip from this woman who is just kicking it in her apartment one night, probably getting ready for bed or whatever, when she happens to glance out of her window up at the mountains. That's when she sees this totally trippy display. These glowing blue lines, almost like tentacles, slithering and undulating across the sky. She whips out her phone to record the whole mind-bending scene through the glass. It's both eerily beautiful and downright bizarre. You still have to wonder, though, 
what could be responsible for causing something like that? Are we talking about legit paranormal activity here? Maybe some ethereal spirits just glazing across the night sky, leaving these glowing trails in their wake. Or is there more to it? Keeps me whew, chills just thinking about it. Julius and his skeptic kind, however, think it might be some weird trick of the light, like reflections bouncing off her window from inside her place. Very boring explanation, but possible, I suppose. Does it feel unexplainable? No, well, maybe. Is it insanely cool? <laughs> 100%. Anyway, you guys have seen it now. What do you also think about it? Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a Bigfoot after you now, would you? Hold on to your hiking boots because there's a mountain mystery unfolding at the Lone Peak Mountains. A resident sees a figure casually walking up the mountain, moving with eerie ease. Now here's the twist. It looks almost human, but with the size and build, it's definitely not human. A quick zoom and it's clear this isn't your typical mountain hiker. Given the area is notorious for Bigfoot sightings, the individual concluded that we may just be dealing with the elusive cryptid. He couldn't follow or get any closer, so we'll have to make do with this clip. What do you think, though? Could it really be a Bigfoot, or is he just seeing what he wants to see? Next, we get a glimpse of the future right in someone's backyard. This man has crafted a shield that's definitely worthy of the name Camouflage. You notice that the shield makes him invisible as soon as he stands behind it. This is the kind of stuff you see in movies and games, but this man has really built it. Yeah, he's actually done it. A shield more practical than Captain America's. Imagine the possibilities, the untapped potential of technology. It could change the law enforcement and military game for good. But if the man could create this, what could those big shot tech companies be cooking up behind their closed doors? Ué, mano, do nada, um bode, mano. So, this is a clip of a guy just chilling with his friends waiting for their Uber when he sees a goat go by. He then decides to film it to pass the time and thinks nothing of it. When he posted the video, someone pointed out what he missed, a figure lurking by the tree. And we're not talking about the goat, oh, no, no. The entity was covered in a dark robe with a weird skeletal looking face. Everyone who saw the footage was wondering what we were dealing with. Some thought it was just a man in a mask, whilst others thought it was the Grim Reaper. Those who thought it was the Grim Reaper pointed out that the uploader, one of his friends, or all of them, may be near death. Creepy, huh? This next one is a capture from a paranormal group I was gifted the opportunity to be a part of. I don't need to tell you what this creature is, do I? It was captured on a trail cam of one of the participants of the group. According to him, he's encountered this being before and has barely escaped with his life. He was out exploring the woods when it got dark. In his bit to get home, he took a shortcut and that's where his woes began. He felt the creature stalk and follow him. He couldn't tell, but it had dark fur and a menacing growl. He tried running away and eventually stumbled. That's when the creature revealed itself in its full glory. Once he saw its sharp teeth, he knew he was a goner until a party of hunters came his way with its sharp teeth. The only reason he escaped with his life was because there was a party of hunters heading his way. The creature heard them and retreated, yet no one would believe his story. This is why he fixed the trail camps. It took a year and some months, but he finally had his proof and wanted the world to see it. At least that's what he said. Some people believe his story, while some think it's just AI imagery with a lot of lies. You have seen the capture yourself now. What do you make of it? You're probably wondering why we're showing you someone's bedroom, right? Well... Wait a sec, 
And there it is. Do you hear those loud banging or knocking sounds? This has apparently been going on for a while, and the woman was the only one who noticed. The man always seemed to be very deep in sleep any time something like this happened and the woman found it weird. They installed a camera to know what was really happening and this is the result. The man still slept through it. What do you think could be happening here and why does the man always sleep through it? Some think it's demonic while others think they're just faking it. What do you think? Oh, wake up! What the fuck? Oh my god. A guy captures not one, but two moons in the sky, with one trailing behind the other. We're not talking about atmospheric illusions or misty reflections. These are actual moons sharing the celestial space. But how? The truth is, no one knows for certain. Can you help? Julius wants to sit out of this one and wants to see what you guys can come up with. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Next, let's dive into the fascinating world of these hard-working insects. Take a look at this dynamic duo of amps, determinedly hauling a tiny SIM card through the maze of cracks in a wall. But what could possibly drive these tiny messengers to undertake such a peculiar mission? Could they be harboring a secret telecommunication network within their covert hideout, relying on a SIM card for connectivity? It's a captivating idea that these ants might be the unseen masterminds of a miniature technological empire. Imagine a bustling ant metropolis where information seamlessly flows through their own version of cyberspace, all facilitated by the humble SIM card clutched in their tiny mandibles. You know, that's actually a scary thought. But why do you think these ants are stealing these SIM cards? The concept of mermaids, or ningyo in Japanese, has a long and varied history in Japanese folklore and mystery. Unlike the Western portrayal of mermaids as beautiful human-fish hybrids, Japanese mermaids often have a more fantastical and mysterious appearance. In traditional Japanese folklore, there are stories of fishermen encountering mermaids at sea. These tales often describe mermaids as having a human-like upper body and a fish-like lower body. Some accounts depict them with a beautiful appearance, while others portray them as more monstrous. One notable artifact associated with Japanese mermaid lore is the Ibukujima mermaid mummy. In the late 19th century, a mummified creature purportedly to be a mermaid was displayed in Ibukujima, Japan. The creature had a monkey-like face and a fish-like lower body. Security footage captured this bizarre situation on camera. As you can see, it's daytime and a person coming down the stairs stumbles. He didn't just stumble because he missed his step. No, a person popped out of the ground from nowhere. The scene presents itself as a peculiar moment that challenges our understanding of reality. Could it be a cleverly staged prank, with someone strategically hidden below the surface, ready to make an unexpected entrance? Or perhaps we're witnessing a momentary glitch in the Matrix? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section. A hiker was capturing the beauty of his surroundings on camera, enjoying the peaceful silence that surrounds him, when out of the blue, a creature emerges from the shadows. At first, he's startled, but soon that surprise and shock becomes nothing more than fear. It was the majestic mountain lion. Its piercing gaze is filled with curiosity. The camera keeps rolling, capturing a breathtaking encounter. You'd think after being discovered, the mountain lion would leave, but no, it didn't. Instead, it attacked and tried to get the upper hand over the man. Thankfully, though, the man in question knew who and what he was dealing with. He started making loud noises and making himself big, which scared the animal off. If you were ever in a pinch with a mountain lion, you should do the same. Turning your back and running may just be the last thing that you do. 
Just picture this scenario. You decide to set up a trail cam deep in the wilderness to capture the wondrous creatures of the wild. Your goal is to see nature's beauty in its purest form. But when you finally retrieve your device, you're in for an unsettling surprise. The motion detection camera did its job all right, but instead of capturing images of the usual animal inhabitants of the forest, it caught the enigmatic figure of a man who remains a complete mystery. This unknown individual donned a peculiar mask, adding a layer of strangeness to his presence. In his hand, he held some sort of container and seemed to be engrossed in gathering things from the ground. These images become even more unsettling when you notice that the man appears to be aware of the camera. In several frames, you can see him looking directly at the lens. This leaves us with more questions than answers. What was his motive for venturing into the woods, and why did he take an interest in your trail cam? Could it be just a curious neighbor playing a prank on the trail cam owner, or is there something ominous behind this peculiar encounter? Share your thoughts. Aside from all the paranormal and extraterrestrial talk we have from time to time, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible spectacle that is the natural world. Nature is very beautiful, yet it can also be very terrifying. Just look at this. One moment the weather is all calm and cool, and the next minute the air becomes charged and clouds gather with a sense of purpose, after which storms and tornadoes announce their arrival with a powerful and then there's the breathtaking power and majesty exhibited during the storms. Lightning dances across the sky, and thunder rumbles in the background. Terrifying, yet undeniably captivating. It's a vivid illustration of nature's might. Videos like this are a constant reminder that amidst all our paranormal ponderings and extraterrestrial escapades, the Earth itself is a marvel that deserves our admiration and respect. In the streets of Italy, a mesmerizing anomaly unfolds, captivating both onlookers and scientists in equal measure as captured in footage that evokes a sense of wonder. Raindrops descend upon a small section of the road, leaving the surrounding area untouched and dry. Everyone passing by is both mesmerized and stunned, yet no one can explain what was happening. Scientists ever eager to provide explanations term this intriguing occurrence as localized rain. Localized rain occurs when specific conditions create a microenvironment conducive to precipitation in a confined space. Despite the rational explanation, the human tendency to seek meaning beyond the ordinary makes some wonder whether there might be something more to this meteorological display than meets the eye. The Amazon rainforest is home to a number of monkey species, of which the bald yukari monkey is one. This remarkable species stands out not only for its mesmerizing appearance, but also for its incredible ability to thrive in one of the world's most challenging environments. Its distinctive features and survival tactics make the bald yukari monkey a true mystery of the rainforest. Their adaptions for navigating the dense rainforest unravel the mysteries of their social structures, but there's also a pressing concern. The bald yuakari monkey is endangered, facing threats from habitat loss and human activities. Have you encountered this monkey species before? Tell us about your experience. A group of fearless construction workers, knee-deep in their sewer-related tasks, suddenly found themselves immersed in a surreal mystery. Mysterious noises echoed from the depths below, drawing their curious attention away from the mundane work at hand. Their collective courage led them to investigate the unearthly sounds embarking on an unexpected quest to uncover the source of these bizarre auditory disturbances. As they delved deeper into the unknown, their journey took an eerie turn. What they encountered was a female anomaly, a creature that defied categorization emerging from the murky bowels of the sewer system. With its unsettling half-emerged visage, it gazed up at the assembly of workers as though it were a cryptic message from the subterranean abyss. The video abruptly concludes, leaving viewers pondering the inexplicable that lay beneath. 
What could this mysterious entity be, and how did these valiant men confront the puzzling presence and encounter? These are questions we may never have answers to. Now get ready for an eerie sight as we dive in a footage from a Texas park dating back to 2015. But beware, what may initially resemble dropping servings of spaghetti will turn out to be a cluster of earthworms intricately woven together in a rather unsettling formation. This strange and repulsive display prompts immediate questions about the cause behind such peculiar behavior in earthworms. Worms are typically known for their underground activities, crucial for maintaining soil health. Witnessing them suddenly emerge en masse, especially in this bizarre entanglement, is not a common occurrence. Some who saw it believed that a storm caused the worms to come up from the ground, after which they were washed up to the road. Given that the center of the road had the least amount of water, they remained there till the water began to recede and drain. It's at this moment they may have formed the balls we see, which is actually something they're known to do to stay alive. These are all speculations, of course, but having seen it yourself, what do you think this is? A communal effort to stay alive? A display of unusual mating behavior? Or are the worms plotting something ominous? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Now I know what you're thinking, but no, that's not King Ghidorah from the MonsterVerse. If Ghidorah existed, the only way we'd make it out alive is if we had Godzilla or King Kong coming to our rescue, and clearly that's not an option. So what are we looking at then? Aaron believes it's a fake. Well, now if Aaron, the man who believes any animal could be a skinwalker, calls something as cool as this fake, then you should definitely believe him. Someone could possibly have edited lightning footage and made it look more ominous than it really is. Either that or we're in serious trouble. Having seen the footage yourself, what do you think? Late night drives often have a tranquil quality to them, with the road ahead illuminated by the guiding light of your headlights. But for one driver, the solitude of the night was shattered by an unsettling sight captured on the dash cam. As the car cruised along the road, passing a series of road signs, something peculiar lay ahead. At first, it was just a strange object in the distance, a mere silhouette against the night. But as the vehicle drew closer, the mysterious figure became more distinct. There, on the side of the road, one could make out the figure of a being, or at least something that appeared to resemble one. It sat on the ground, legs crossed like a meditating monk, with a form that seemed human yet entirely white. A haunting, ghostly apparition, seemingly caught in the act of deep contemplation. Is this a mere statue or artwork placed there? Or is there something far more unsettling at play? Share your thoughts. In the heart of an unknown area, a group of fearless men who appeared to be animal control experts stumbled upon a striking sight. A magnificent white bear. This impressive creature was making its way along a muddy trail. At first glance, the bear seemed harmless, a testament to the breathtaking beauty of its natural surroundings. However, nature can be unpredictable, and the tranquility was shattered when the bear, driven by instincts and perhaps feeling threatened, made a sudden lunge toward the men. What happened next was a testament to the courage and composure of the humans. One of the men stood his ground, his voice firm and resolute as he challenged the bear with a stern warning. <laughs> this brave confrontation caused the bear to rethink its decision, and with a reluctant retreat, it returned to the mud-covered path. This is a striking example of the unpredictable nature of wild animals. While this bear appeared cute and endearing at first, it quickly became wild and dangerous within a matter of seconds. Have you ever seen a ball of fire gracefully hovering among the leaves of a towering tree? If you answered no, today's your lucky day. People in the area are fascinated by this unusual sight, calling it a light entity. 
It shows up unexpectedly and stays a safe distance away. Locals of the area also state that while unexpected and strange, this light entity is a frequent visitor of the vicinity. This spectacle has given rise to speculations and discussions among the locals, prompting them to delve into the possible explanations behind its manifestation. Some state it's not a supernatural entity and that there has to be a logical explanation, while the majority entertain the idea of it being a guardian spirit. Some even say it might be a deity of the town coming for regular visits. What do you think? In the quiet night of Spirito Santo, residents were stirred by an unusual sound, but no one dared to check it out. The next day, they found this too deep dense in the ground. These imprints, marked by silverish looking melted metal, suggest intense heat or burning at the point of impact. The melted substance had congealed, forming a solidified residue. The nature of these dents, coupled with the characteristics of the material, led locals to believe that whatever caused this anomaly descended from the sky. But what exactly could it be? Was it a meteorite, satellite debris, or an entirely different phenomena? Perhaps aliens? Share your thoughts in the comment section. In this next footage, we see a woman who appears to be filming a video. Naturally, she's the focus, but once you start paying attention, you realize that something bizarre moves right behind her. A peculiar dark figure, the likes of which you've never seen, decided to make its grand entrance. This mysterious entity seemed to be floating, not walking, not running, but floating right behind her head. Its shape was beyond peculiar, almost as if it was crafted by the rules of a different reality. What do you think that is, and how come they've never noticed something like that moving around them? Could it be a fake? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Before you watch the next clip, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already? It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode, the depths of the unknown, a group of curious campers embarked on an adventure undeterred by the mysterious noises that echoed through the dark. As they ventured further into the mysterious wilderness, they were confronted by an otherworldly creature, a black entity that appeared to be a bizarre fusion of a wolf and a bear. This peculiar beast emitted strange sounds, its buccal cavity revealing a multitude of razor-sharp teeth, hinting at its predatory nature. What set this creature apart from the ordinary was its uncanny ability to shift between being on all fours and standing upright on its two hind legs, reminiscent of a human. But it was the most unsettling detail that puzzled the campers. The creature had no discernible eyes, leaving one to wonder how it navigated in the darkness. The campers may have survived this encounter, but the questions left in its wake may continue to haunt them and us. What do you think that was? Is it truly a paranormal being, or are we dealing with an actual wildlife creature no one knows about? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. While driving on the road, the individual recording this footage came across a man in a white button-up shirt with trousers walking ahead of his car. It seemed like he was taking off his jacket, but then this happened. Out of nowhere, this person in a red shirt appears. If you take a closer look, you'd realize that there was initially no one in sight except for the man walking. It's not readily understood how the second individual appears, and if you know anything about the internet, you know that theories would fly almost everywhere. Some believe it could be a glitch in the matrix, whereas others believe it's all fake footage. The internet is saturated with edited footage to such an extent that distinguishing between real and fake occurrences becomes a challenging task when these events genuinely unfold. But what do you guys think? Real, glitch, or a complete hoax? Tell us in the comments section. 
Back in 2011 in Russia, a local farmer was woken up in the middle of the night by an intensive earthquake. As he woke up, he realized that the quake was not what he thought it was. It was an explosion. So the farmer set out to investigate, only to retrieve this. The burnt remains of a strange creature. The head looked almost human, but its lower jaw was much bigger than a human's. The creature, smaller than the average adult human, exhibited limbs resembling those of an animal rather than a human. This spectacle was found in a maize farm, so the burned body was attached to corn husks and some maize. Now the question is, what is this? The locals said it could be an ancient witch that lives in the woods and eats children, but some scientists suspect it to be something else. With how the permafrost in Russia is melting, they believe that this could be one of the extinct creatures that might have escaped. As for the cause of the explosion, it remains a mystery to this day. In the dead of night, two siblings found themselves peering out of their window, their eyes drawn to a strange glowing presence that defied explanation. The world outside seemed shrouded in an unsettling mystery. Just when the silence was beginning to feel deafening, a sudden ear-piercing sound tore through the darkness. The source of the noise remained a faceless mystery, shrouded in the obscurity of the night. Intrigued and perhaps a bit fearful, the siblings found themselves frozen in place. However, curiosity got the better of them, and the sister, armed with a trusty black phone, decided to document whatever was transpiring beyond the window. She held her phone steady, capturing the unfolding mystery for posterity. The questions flooded their minds. What could be making that bone-chilling noise? Was it a call for help from a distressed soul, or was it merely another puzzling riddle presented by the mysterious night? The answers hidden in the shadows remain just out of reach. Imagine living in the solitude of a forest where the night is typically accompanied by the gentle symphony of nature's whispers. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But what happens when the tranquility is shattered by an unknown disturbance? On this particular night, this homeowner was roused from slumber by an inexplicable commotion. Expecting to spot a human intruder, they peered out of the window, ready to confront the unknown. However, what they witnessed was far from ordinary. Strolling through the darkness was a figure unlike any they had ever seen. It was humanoid in shape, and yet it possessed an eerie, transparent quality. The ghostly presence glided with an otherworldly grace, leaving a trail of bewilderment in its wake. One could make out its distant head and shoulders as it moved silently through the In a daring underwater escapade, a diver plunges into the depths to witness the beauty of aquatic life, only to encounter an unexpected adversary. An aggressive sea lion with a disposition that seems less than welcoming. The creature, seemingly having woken up on the wrong side of the bed, initiates a series of attacks by swimming at high speed and forcefully slamming into the diver. While these marine mammals are generally known for their playful and curious demeanor, there are several reasons why a sea lion might display aggression toward a diver. It could be due to the animal feeling territorial, protective of its young, or reacting to perceived threats. In some cases, individuals may not be fully aware of how to interact safely with marine wildlife, which can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. While we can't tell which of these is responsible for the sea lion's attack, it serves as a reminder that these animals can also be dangerous. In the course of his exploration, Luis Cito, the YouTuber known for delving into abandoned historic sites, found himself in Chernobyl, Ukraine. This area carries the weight of a tragic nuclear explosion during the World War, giving rise to tales of radiation-induced deformities on creatures and other eerie phenomena. 
In this particular footage, Luisito, unknowingly accompanied by an unexpected audience, stands by a wrecked car in the eerie woods. What transpires next is a chilling revelation. A creature, humanoid in appearance but clad in fur, emerges among the trees, lingering briefly before disappearing into the shadows. The enigmatic sighting sparks speculation among viewers, with some pondering whether this could be a Bigfoot, while others entertain the notion that it might be one of the creatures purportedly deformed by the lingering radiation in the area. Could that be the case? I know we have seen strange things on this channel, but brace yourself for this next one. This puzzling creature presents a terrifying spectacle, akin to a gruesome hybrid born of unholy matrimony between a pangolin and a wolf. I mean, how else can you explain what you see? What's more, the capture unfolds in a sinister, dimly lit location, evoking the shadowy depths of a malefic underworld. What nightmarish entity could have spawned this abomination, and what unspeakable horrors does it pretend? Is this real, or is it basically AI generated? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. This security footage might have captured a paranormal encounter. In the footage, you can see a floating light. The light looks like a horizontal arrangement of mini light orbs. The orbs float from one side to the other. They are natural explanations for unusual light formations, such as camera glitches, atmospheric conditions, or even insects or dust particles reflecting light. The behavior of these orbs can sometimes be influenced by factors like wind, temperature, and lighting conditions. While some may quickly attribute such occurrences to the paranormal, why do you think this is? This next one might make your stomach churn, so brace yourself. Now I know you were wondering what you're looking at here. This is the remains of Alyoshenka. Just in case you're wondering, the Alyoshenka, also known as the Kishtim Dwarf, refers to the mysterious remains of a small humanoid creature reportedly discovered in the village of Kaolinovoy near Kishtim in Russia in 1996. The discovery gained attention due to its unusual appearance and the speculation surrounding its origin. The creature was about 10 inches 25 centimeters tall, had a disproportionately large head, and lacked a visible navel, ears, or a mouth. Its features led some to speculate that it might be extraterrestrial in origin. However, the story is surrounded by controversy, and there are various theories about what Alyashenka actually was. Some theories suggest that it was a deformed human fetus or a premature baby, while others argue that it could be a non-human primate. In any case, the lack of clear documentation and scientific analysis makes it challenging to determine the true nature of Alyashenka. In an outdoor coffee haven, a passerby stumbles upon an extraordinary sight, a massive bat suspended from the ceiling, with its wings unfurled and an inky blackness defining its form. Bats come in various sizes and species, and some can indeed be quite large. Bats are fascinating mammals and play crucial roles in ecosystems, including pollination and insect control. While they're mostly nocturnal and known for roosting in caves, trees, or other sheltered areas, it's not uncommon to see them hanging from the ceilings of outdoor structures. As you can see, this bat and many others are generally harmless to humans and are not aggressive unless provoked. So when you come across a bat, just take a picture and go your merry way. Picture this. It was a regular night, nothing out of the ordinary. But then strange noises started to fill the air. This is the story of our brave explorer who decided to go on a quest to uncover the source of the eerie sounds he'd been hearing. And what did he stumble upon? Well, brace yourselves. A mysterious being straight out of a sci-fi movie casually sauntered by. This creature was like something from another world. A pale, greenish body, a head that could rival even the biggest of pumpkins, and a ghostly aura that sent shivers down your spine. So folks, the million dollar question, what in the 
galaxy do you think that could be? Meet the long wattled umbrella bird, a bird with a flair for the dramatic found in the mystical cloud forests of Ecuador and Colombia. What makes them stand out? Well, it's all about the wattle, a peculiar pendulous ornament hanging from their throats that looks just like an umbrella. The males put on quite a show with this wattle during courtship, and trust me, it's a spectacle you won't want to miss. When it comes to their diet, these birds are fruit lovers, but they'll also munch on insects. They play a crucial role in their ecosystem, helping to spread seeds and maintain the balance of nature. But there's trouble in paradise. The long bottled umbrella bird, like many other species, is under threat. Habitat loss and fragmentation, mainly due to deforestation and human activity, are pushing them towards vulnerability. That's why conservation efforts are essential to protect their habitats and spread the word about their conservation. It's up to all of us to support these efforts and ensure that these remarkable birds continue to grace the cloud forests with their unique presence. In yet another account of the alleged ball of lightning, a man and his daughters witnessed the glowing orb materializing in the sky above a mountain and descending slowly. Descended. Despite it being daytime, the luminosity of the orb was unmistakable, and even their dog seemed intrigued, barking at the ethereal presence. The accounts of ball lightning often involve sightings during thunderstorms or in the vicinity of electrical activity. Despite being considered a natural phenomenon by some in the scientific community, its rarity and unpredictability have led to speculation and sometimes sensational interpretations, including claims of extraterrestrial or paranormal origins. While scientists have proposed various hypotheses to explain ball lightning, it remains one of the least understood natural phenomena. I won't pretend to fully understand them, but if any of you are watching does, please explain in the comments section. Aaron and I will be reading the comments. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send a Bigfoot after you now. Would you? Speaking of aliens, residents of a vicinity in Brazil saw this round metallic object on the ground in the middle of the road. This object was found after a loud explosion was heard throughout the area. The object was also burning from within. As news of this got out, people speculated that it could be an alien object from the sky. Local authorities, however, provided a different perspective, asserting that the mysterious object was a component of a machine from a nearby factory. Despite this official explanation, the factory itself has yet to confirm or deny the association with the enigmatic metallic sphere. This has left room for continued intrigue and speculation about the true nature of this unusual occurrence. Personally, I think it looks like a tinfoil wrapped around something, but what do I know? Three women with distinct appearances venture into a remote area shrouded in tall grass and enveloped by nature's embrace. The first two women sport short hair, while the third woman stands out with a long flowing black hair that cascades gracefully down her back. Their enthusiasm and purposeful movements have given rise to speculative whispers hinting at the possibility of them being witches, especially the woman with the long hair who some describe as bewitching. The long dresses they wear, while traditional, don't necessarily align with this stereotypical image of witches. After all, people often dress in different ways for various reasons, and clothing alone isn't a definitive indicator of one's nature or intentions. But what do you think? Could they really be witches, or is it something else entirely? Kindly share your thoughts. Instead of starting with something big today, we chose something ancient. Now that I think about it, it's also big as well. Instead of describing, allow me to show you. 
What do you see when you look at that? A dinosaur, right? Now, anyone who knows anything about these creatures should know that these things are extinct. Now, if they are, how come this was captured by an explorer in the mountains? No one has been able to provide answers, but the footage was checked out to make sure it was not fake. And guess what? It turns out it's very authentic. Could dinosaurs be living amongst us, or are we simply seeing the results of a secret experiment gone public? You tell us what you think. In this curious image taken, there appears to be a creature hiding behind a tree. The upper part of the creature is visible as it peeks through a space between two branches of the tree. The creature appears to be very hairy, and looking at where its head is compared to the tree, the creature is huge, probably around 8 to 9 feet. The image was apparently captured from higher ground, giving us a unique bird's eye view of the tree hugging giant. It's not your regular ape. Some are donning their tinfoil hats, convinced that it's the elusive Bigfoot making a rare appearance in suburbia. Others are more skeptical, thinking it's just a neighbor with a flair for the dramatic, possibly trying out a new costume or pulling off the world's most elaborate photobomb. I'm tempted to lean toward the skeptical bunch, but what about you? So imagine this, you walk into your room and in the corner of the ceiling there's a centipede that's not exactly a garden variety. It's about the size of a snake. Naturally, this prompts a string of questions. What's the deal with this unusually large centipede? And did it accidentally stumble into the wrong room? Is it a mutant centipede or do these things just come in plus size now? While we may not be witnessing the next great insect revolution, it does make you wonder what's going on in the insect world that we're not privy to. And for our final clip, let's turn our attention to the charming cityscape of Vicenza, Italy, where an extraordinary architectural wonder takes center stage. In this mesmerizing scene, an onlooker gazes out of a window, only for us to see a large body of water. It's almost as though the whole area has been submerged in a pool. Not much context was given, so we can't tell if we're dealing with a structure that has always been like this, or one that's dealing with heavy floods or rains. Whatever the case, you have to agree that that's some serious bit of architectural engineering. I don't know if there are many homes in the US that could survive something like this. <laughs> Simply remarkable. And all too soon, we've come to the end of today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go, are there popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel? Please tell us in the comments section. And if you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you credit with it. Of course, unless you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.